How do you know if your solar eclipse glasses are safe? There are a lot of people out there selling those things right now and some may be just fine, but others, not so much. And apparently counterfeit and straight up fake glasses have been flooding the market. Also, no, your sunglasses are definitely not safe to view the eclipse. So first, millions of people will be in the path of totality tomorrow for the total solar eclipse when the moon passes between Earth and the sun, completely blocking the sun's face from view for a few minutes. Now, this is a big deal, obviously, because we're not going to see another one of these things for many more years. But you can't just stare at it because without the right protection, you can permanently damage your eyes. But you can also damage your eyes by wearing these fake glasses that don't contain the right filters to protect you. Your glasses should have this number on them or in the description when you bought them. ISO 12312-2. That is the International Organization for Standardization for Safe Solar Viewers. The American Astronomical Society put out a list of about 100 different vendors and their authorized dealers that sell authentic and safe glasses. You can certainly check to see if the manufacturer of your glasses is on that list. But if you didn't buy it from one of those, the Astronomical Society says there's no way to tell just by looking at them if your glasses are genuinely safe. However, they say it is easy to tell if they're not safe. And here's how. The American Astronomical Society says you can try both the indoor and outdoor test. Before April 8th, put the glasses on indoors and look around. You should not be able to see anything through them except very bright lights, which should appear faint. If you can see anything like your furniture or pictures on the wall, your glasses are not dark enough for solar viewing. Once your glasses pass the indoor test, take them outside on a sunny day and put them on and look around again. You should still not be able to see anything through them. If your glasses pass that test, then you can glance at the sun for less than a second. You should see a sharp edged round disc that's comfortably bright. And depending on the filter of your glasses, the sun may appear white, bluish white, yellow, or orange. The Astronomical Society says if your glasses pass all three of those tests, they are probably safe. But if you're on the fence, the society says you should use them sparingly during the eclipse. Do not look at the sun for more than two or three seconds every five minutes. Now, if you want to see the list of those authorized solar viewer companies, I will email it out to you tonight, Sunday, in my News Girl News Roundup email. So make sure you sign yourself up.